Today we're going to be thinking about changing the subject of a formulae, formula. So what does that mean? So say we've got this c equals 2 pi r. It's the formula for the circumference of a circle. Now we want to make the subject r. So first things first, let's just flip it around. So let's, say, let's have 2 pi r equals c. Um, it means exactly the same. Now to make this r the subject, we want to basically have r on its own with everything else on the other side. So how would we do that? So we've got this 2 pi. We want to get rid of the 2 pi on this side. So to do that, we would divide both sides of the formula by 2 pi. Because 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1. So it would give us r. So let's write what we're doing here. We're dividing by 2 pi here, and we're dividing by 2 pi here. So that's going to be r equals c over 2 pi. R is now the subject of the formula, and that that is a nice simple one. Now the reason we can do this, if we do whatever we do to one side, if we do the same to the other side, we've not changed the formula in any way. Let's try another one. So let's look at this. Y equals m x plus c which you're about to find out is the equation for a straight line. So let's make x the subject. So again, let's just flip them round. So mx plus c equals y. Now, here's the x. So the first, let's get rid of the C first. So we end up with just MX on the left. So to get rid of the C, we're going to take away C from this side, which means we have to take away C from the right hand side. Because by doing that, we've not changed what this means mathematically. It's, we can do whatever we like as long as we do to each side. If we were just to take C away from that side, We've changed what this formula means. So we've done you know, mx equals y minus c. And similarly like the last one, we've now got the x here. We want to get rid of this m. So if we divide both sides by m, so let's divide this side by m, and divide this side by m, we're going to have x equals y minus c over m and that's now x is the subject. Um, we're going to try one a bit more complicated. v equals a third pi r squared h and we want to make r the subject. So we'll flip them round again. Third pi r squared h over v. Now let's get rid of the third first. So to get rid of the third, we're going to multiply both sides by three. Because three times a third is one. So that's going to give us pi r squared over h equals three v. Now we're going to get rid of the pi and the h together by dividing both sides by pi h. So that's going to give us r squared equals 3v over pi h. And now to get rid of the squared, we're going to square root. r equals the square root of 3v over pi I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching.